Welcome back. This is Coach Evans, and today we're going to talk about Odafi's OA's game versus the Kansas City Chiefs Sunday night. Uh, had the huge play toward the end of the game, but he also had some some rookie mistakes in 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 this game that he corrected later on, and just his effort, you know, throughout the game doing different things is amazing. With everybody know he's an extremely talented athlete, um, but you see his football sense kind of start to turn you know in different things in this game and so he played okay early played darn good in the middle and played damn good late cue the intro what up fam i almost thought off with this play because this is the play that i tweeted earlier and, um, you know, it's got a lot of traction. So let's just kind of talk about this play to start off with and go from there. Um, Owe is here. And this is versus Orlando Brown. Let's just watch it. Watch it in real time first, then we'll come back and talk about it. Mm. Let's watch it again. But did he, Allen Iverson, shake the draws off this dude? Let's kind of slow it down and see what he did. So he is in that wide technique to give you the semblance that I'm about to beat you with speed. And so Orlando kicks real wide to try to negate that. He's, he's seeing him out there wide, so I'm, Orlando's in Orlando's mind, I'm going to get wide real quick. So not to give you that edge that you're trying to get. He goes straight in him. So he, you know, he really don't give the other than lining up wide, he don't give the the, the initial get off like oh he's gonna beat you wide. Second step. Now he's squaring him up. So now he's just hitting him with the uh-uh a little crossover move. Because Lando's has kicked wide. One, two, he trying to hurt him get wide. Now he in no man's land because Adolfi came straight at him. He didn't he didn't go wider, he didn't go inside. Now Orlando don't know what's going on. He's like if Owe wanted a straight bull rush, he could bull rush him right now because he this is not good O line posture. Oh, it's look at 67. That's a lot better. Where Orlando is right now, no man's land. Take that foot in the ground, and he went to go grab him outside, and he disappeared on him. So I feel like he just coming down like AI. Ooh. Or that old Chris Jackson, if you know Chris Jackson, or you young cats that let Steph Curry, he just come down with that quick one, two, and gone. Boop, boop. To the basket for a layup. But luckily, my homes got rid of it. For them, luckily, my homes got rid of it. All right, we're going to talk about this one also. Not everything was all peachy going on. I just want to show you this, this little rookie mistake by Owe right here. Um, let me highlight him real quick. Out here on this edge and just watch. He had he's a C gap player. So right now he's good. Holding the C gap, fighting the dude off, fighting him off, fighting him off. Now he makes the rookie mistake of wanting to step in there and make the play. And Dick Pips peeks his head inside, which allows Elvisy Lair to go and get the yardage. Because he was a C gap player. You gotta keep your gap integrity. You just gotta gotta trust it. Got to trust that your guys will come make a play. Keep this edge. Keep that left arm free. Keep this arm free. Fight him off with the right arm, which he's trying to do. Look at look how the, the uh, tackle's head is pushed back. Fight him off. Stay outside. When he swam inside, now 67 hooked him and got, got him off balance. And he, LZ Lab was able to get some yardage. Just a rookie mistake. Just got to remember to stay outside. That's all. Just got to remember to stay outside. But look at him dive in at the end, try to get back on the play. <laughs> I told you everything ain't all it ain't all good. We're going to get to the good stuff, but we got to check the good and the bad. Let's check this out. Always on the edge right here. Mmm. Mmm. Met that pull. I don't know if you saw him or not. Yeah, he saw him at the last minute. 
Welcome to the NFL, buddy. Head on a swivel. Good luck at Matt PK. Head on a swivel, buddy. Good play, Matt PK. All right, next play. Starting out, he's, let me see. He's over here. He's over here. So he's going to get a hand on Kelsey to try to redirect him. Then he's going to come through. So I'm gonna we're going to watch in real time first. Got a jam on Kelsey. Got in there and got the attempted sack, which, caught, which led to the, the interception. So, let's throw it back to the beginning of the play. He's out here, again, out here to put a hand on um, Kelsey because Kelsey was just starting to get free releases and you see boards in there now and um, Harrison is not. So, he's going to get hands on him. Gets hands on him and don't really redirect him like he should. But it, it kind of helps because it leads him to where he wants to rush. The center is not even looking. He's going to loop right in that gap. Center, the center even looks, but it looks like the center is looking here and not at Owe. Now he sees him. At this point, it's athlete versus athlete, and I take this dude every day. It's one on, he got a one-on-one -on -one with the center. He should win that a lot of times. Easy. Center didn't even slow him up. He dove in there, you know, got a good wrap-up on Mahomes. Mahomes tried to make something happen. Tavon comes up with the interception. And that's pure athleticism helping him do that. When he, when he got to this point right here, let me show you. When it was this point right here with the center, the center knew that he wasn't winning that. All he was going to try to do was just try to get a hand on him and slow him down. But the center can't win that. One-on-one, -on -one, and he coming downhill. Had he not tripped over the center's foot, Mahomes probably wouldn't even got a chance to do that. But good things happen to those who work hard. This is a perfect time to give this video a thumbs up. And while you're down there, make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button. Thanks. Now, I don't know if you remember, but early in the video, we talked about him setting the edge, then making the rookie mistake of peeking inside and letting the defender, I mean, the offensive player get yards on the outside. You live and you learn. You learn, you learn by playing. Watch this. Oh. Oh, wait. It's right here. Hey, you live and you learn. Let's back it up. He's the is it a tight end over there. He's the C-gap player. Watch him control C-gap. Got into the guy so he can't get any push. Got, got good leverage on him. Now he's trying to extend that hand. Now he got him with the left hand. Got him with the right hand. Right arm. And his left arm is free. So he can do anything that goes in that C-gap. Now they tried to rush the C-gap. Look at that. That's perfect. Got good extension with this, this arm. So this arm is free to do whatever you need to do to try to get the play, to get the player. Now the running back comes out there, he runs the C-gap, makes the tackle. Great job, because Eli tried to let dip move again, watch. Just watch watch Clyde. He tried to let stutter dip move again, but this time, juice in his face too. And away, away kept his gap, he didn't go for the bite, he didn't dip inside like he did the last time. Stayed outside, got that arm free, that's, that's textbook. Fighting him off with with the with the close arm, got the outside arm free. Textbook. He made the tackle, or be in on the tackle. Textbook. You live and you learn. Made a mistake early in the game, didn't make it later in the game. And for the last play of this film, we know what it is: the uh, force form of form recovery that helped us, uh, you know, kind of put the game away, gave us a chance to run the clock out. Away is. On the right side of your screen, shadow here. Let's and there's no need to even play it in slow and fast motion because we know what happens. But let's see why it happens. So right now, if I'm looking at it, A, B, he's a C gap player. Always a C gap player. Bring guy in motion. Nothing changes. Hold on, I might, I might have said that wrong. Maybe he's a B gap player. Okay. Yeah, he's a C-gap player. I was right. I was right. 
Guy goes outside. He presses him because that's his gap. Sees the ball coming. And, and just beats the... Because he's supposed to get something on that tackle. But when the tackle blocked out, that helped him. It helped his read. When the tackle blocked out, that helped everything. Because he's supposed to go see gap. And so now the guard can't come back and get him. Because of his, he out of position. The guard tried to help on that double team. Tried to help the guard tried to help on McPhee. McPhee crossed his face. Now the guard out of position. He can't get back to Oway. He can't. Oway coming right down the line. Perfect position to make a tackle. He tries to get away. The guard tries to get some on him at the last minute. He sticks this. You see this arm reaching out right now. And whether it's on purpose or not, don't matter. Swipes at the ball. And when he swipes at it, it come out. And you see the ball on the ground. He just reaches out, reaches this paw right here. And, and rakes it on in. Rakes it on in. It's a great job. Great job. And when what happened, and I didn't realize this watching it live, but he he's responsible for this gap right here. And when this guy pulls and he kicks out, he can't get to his gap. So he just takes the next one in because he sees the ball. But that's why he puts hands on the tackle because he's trying to make sure he stay outside of him for his gap. And by him doing that, that that creates a problem for the guard. Now the guard can't bang on McPhee and then come back. And it really helps the fact that McPhee, McPhee crossed his face. McPhee crossing his face really sets this up. Cause he, that threw the guard out, out, out of balance. That threw the guard out of balance. Because they, they, they should have been double teaming. McPhee crossed his face. Always, you know, putting hands on this guy. Don't let him get a free release. Then crashing right back in because the back's right there in his, in his gap. Sticks a hand out, rakes it back to him. Now Ravens get a chance to run out the clock. Hey, a great, great, great game by Owe. Uh, some good and some bad. Um, you know, I ain't much I can say. Y'all know I didn't like the pick at first. It grew on me over the summer thinking about the what what uh, Wink could do with him, and it's starting to show early. I hope you know this is a a sign of a lot more to come from from Adafi Owe. And um, hey. Just support the team, man. Support whoever's out there. Believe. If you watch the live stream, you know, if you don't believe, you can leave. But um, I appreciate you guys for tuning in to this latest episode of Sip the Tally Films. Again, I'm your host, Coach Evans. If you do me a favor, hit the like button if you have not do, done so already. Uh, subscribe. Uh, hit the bell for notifications when, they come, when these videos come out. And share. Share, share, share. Trying to help the channel grow. So I appreciate you guys for tuning in. And until next time, peace. With the